guys, so to give you an update, uh, so a lot of people have been asking what is my FNM format like? Uh, you pay $5 and there's a 50% bonus. So out of everyone who pays $5, there's at least a 50% bonus. Uh, the top eight all get promos, so it's not the top four. If your locals is a top four, I don't know if that's right. I feel like it's always been top eight every other place I've gone to. Uh, and that's the same with game day, that's the same with, and I'll go over my plan, how to uh, spend money or wisely. So again, I finished in the top eight. I went two and two, but this time I went one, I won one, I lost one, I won one, and then I lost one, and then I finished in eighth again. So there's between 12, you know, between 10 to like 14 players. Uh, typically, uh, one player one gets like, the person who wins gets like, Twenty dollars or something, and then or their top four splits some amount of money. I think it's like thirteen, fourteen dollars, and then five to eight get eight dollars as well. And then everyone gets the Path to Exile promo or whatever the Friday Night Magic promo is. Right now, it's a very advantageous time to do this because if as long as I keep finishing in the top eight, I can trade into pieces. So I traded uh, my store credit, which was sixteen dollars. Oh, I used my store credit, which was $16, uh, and I went ahead and traded my Path to Exiles, and I'll point out at exactly what card. And Path to Exile right now is about a $10 card in trade. Uh, what I'm getting ready for is game day. Uh, game day, there is the Languish promo. Languish right now, I believe, regular version is $10. So the promo version, assuming it'll be like $20, uh, will be very good because it's on a Saturday, and if anything, if what I believe happened last time and the previous time and time game day no one really shows up to game day um, game day I normally go for a friend or two friends and we go to four different places so we can each get a playset of the game day uh, promos and there's not even eight people there most times um, so very few times I will talk about the one time that the game day like gave out four instead of eight, which was really weird because that was the first time it's ever done that. But this is the new deck, um, cast Call of the Full Moon. Th these cards have to go. Um, I'm looking for Hordling Outbursts, but no one has them because they're kind of like... So this is Abbot of Carol Keep and Call of the Full Moon. Eventually they'll just become Hordling Outbursts. I don't, I haven't found them yet for trade. I have a ton of them, but obviously that defeats the purpose of this uh, segment. So uh, Dragon Fodder, so these are the cards I traded and purchased. So I'm going to go over them a lot, little bit. The Phoenix was just kind of thrown. in. Storm Breath Dragon is like four to five dollars right now in trade. So I traded uh, two Path of Exiles for free Storm Breath Dragons, as well as some other trade bait. And maybe I'll show you, I don't have the trade bait on me, but um, it is very nice. Four Wild Slash and uh, so wow, yeah. I, Oh, sorry. Four Wild Slash, which we already have, and four Stoke the Flame. Stoke the Flame obviously is rotating, and you might be asking, why are you trading for rotating cards? This is making sense. Well, I'm trying to make sure, although I'm pretty certain there's not going to be eight people at any of the four uh, game day pro where I could get the game day promo and some store credit for relatively cheap. I am pretty sure that um, I need to make a better deck. And Stoke the Flames is the best card right now. Storm Breath Dragon is the best card, and they are so cheap to trade for. Um, I no, I actually used my store credit to buy them. I think I got them for four dollars a piece. So I sixteen dollars in store credit, and I got this, and they threw in some other cards that I don't really remember. I could be Berserkers or something. Um, Glory Chaser. Oh yeah. So okay, I remember what happened. Uh, so this card, I was able to trade trade this was a throw in and these two are throw ins too um i traded the guy for free storm breath dragons and a what's it called i'll find a card titan strength um well it was like an extra two dollar card and fiery impulse and then the <laughs> the 20 mountains of course so the deck has got significantly more expensive but like not like incredibly these are a dollar fifty uh, so these are like six dollars. Uh, these Stokes are sixteen dollars, but honestly, 
The reason I am gearing up is because I have to gear up and I have to go ahead and I have to continue to win. Like at game day, the most important day to me is uh, game day. Because that day means that I can get, I can use $5 to get $20. Plus the fact that I need to like get the visions. So if the Path to Exile is worth 10 bucks, the Serum Visions is definitely worth more than $10. And we will continue on, and this is like a very good time to do it because we have one more week that we can get another $10 Path to Exile, another $8 store credit. Then the following week, we get Serum Visions, and then like more store credit. Because uh, like my store is just insane, right? It, it does this all the time. As long as we keep competitive, we keep uh, finishing in the top eight, uh, we will be f totally fine. So we put $10 of cash into this project so far, and this is the deck. And like, you got your storm drafts, you got, you know, throw in. Uh, these were throw ins as well. And the store, I, I think some of these uncommons, I had to check my trade binder. Oh, it was a uh, Shivian Reef. So uh, the deal was. Uh, two Path to Exile foils for the Storm Breath Dragons and a Shivering Reef, and that's all I really wanted. But he threw in um, these two, as well as this one. So he threw in like three dollars and this like maybe a quarter, I guess, of extra trade value, which is really nice of him. And as a new player, you really have to take what you can get. And a lot of experienced players, I do this all the time. Um, I'd either donate cards in my store, or I'd be like, "Hey, you need this card. It's uncommon. It's not that pricey. You can have it." The deck is operating really well. Um, it is playing better. I think I wanna come, I wanna not go back to relying on like creature and then putting enchantments on that. That plan doesn't really work that well. I am relying on just strict burn to the face. So all the creatures have haste or all the creatures have either haste or they can, you know, get bigger. Like this guy is very good. Like this guy is extremely good. He can do like four to six to eight damage a game. Lightning Berserker, extremely good late game. Stoke, I mean, you don't need, really need to talk about Stoke that much. Um, I have some trade assets. I'm going to try to trade my Shivering Reef as well, to get rid of these cards and get Holding Outburst. And then the deck will be like actually like efficient and it'll be ready. So I'm trying to do this before the game day. And then I think I can maybe take a play mat. Like uh, what happens is I go with my friends. Uh, there's one friend I normally go with, um, but sometimes it's a group of people who go with us and we just go ahead. We go to four different pre uh, game days and then we each get like a mat, I guess. Um, Cause it's like sometimes it's just four of us at the event. Actually there's multiple stores now that I consider it, is they don't host the event until you get to four. So that's why there's always four of us. So then everyone gets a promo, everyone's happy, you know, you pay $5. So this is a $10 deck. I put $10 into the deck. That's what I meant. Uh, the $10 was actually translated into two FNMs, $16 store credit, as well as two foil path to exiles. Um, we are going to keep doing this for at least the next month, and then we'll see where the deck ends up. I think if I do it well, I go to FNM every night, it will be very, very good because at the end of the day, um, you're looking at, you know, let's say Serum Visions is $15 in trade. You're looking at 60 bucks from that and you're looking at another 10 bucks in PATH. Um, you're looking at 70 bucks and in language, let's assume it's like 20 bucks in trade, especially the first day where I'll get rid of it. Uh, you're looking at another $80. So like you're gonna make a deck, you're gonna have a deck. And again, once this project is over, I think I'm gonna um, sell it. I'm gonna sell a piece of the deck and then get the T Taylor Swift altered. Um, I'm pretty sure I know who I wanna get it altered from. Oh, if you guys have a suggestion about it. And then, um, you know, get these altered and then do a giveaway for them. Um, and that would be the way I end the project. I can see the project. Well, I guess I need, what I ha has to happen right now is that it has to be like rotation proof. Cause I don't want to like, so the price of these cards should go down in price, I'm assuming. Uh, but at the end of the day, like if it just keeps winning, keeps top eighting, it'll be fine. Bye guys.